Hello, in this video, we will learn BAT algorithm. So these are the topics that we will cover in this video. What is BAT algorithm, micro BAT, echolocation, certain rules for the implementation of BAT algorithm, how this algorithm works, and we will explain this algorithm with an example where we will take three VATs and on them we will implement the BAT algorithm. And we will learn how to calculate the current frequency, velocity, position, loudness, and pulse rate for each BAT. Let's start this with what is bat algorithm. There are about 1000 species of bats. The bat algorithm is based on the echolocation behavior of micro bats. Here we introduce two new words, echolocation and micro bat. So first we will understand what is micro bat and what is echolocation. Micro bat, there are the different types of bat, micro bat, mega bat, ghost bat. We will discuss here micro bat, why? because the bat algorithm is based on the echolocation behavior of the micro bats. Micro bats are the small to medium sized bats that eat insects. You can see these are the flying mammals and the size is from small to medium and the length is 2.2 to 11 centimeter and the wingspan is wingspan that is 25 centimeter and weight is 3 gram to 150 gram. That's about micro bat. Now what is echolocation? Micro bats use a sonar that is called echolocation to detect prey. So they use a sonar, this is called echolocation and using this sonar they can detect their prey. Let's see how. Suppose we have a micro bat and this is the target and they will, the micro bat will create a high pulse of highly pitched sound and you can see here the echo that will bounce back to the micro bat and this echo can tell micro bat about the distance and size and how fast the target is. This is the bat algorithm that we are going to implement and we will understand this with example. First step, as we all know all the bat have frequency, position, velocity, loudness and pulse rate. Let's see what is frequency as we all know that is the number of waves produced per unit time and this is the wavelength that is the minimum distance between the two particles. Here in this algorithm we are using sound waves that the bat will create to detect their prey. Next is position. Position means a place where something is located. Here we have bats. So we have position for the bats that is denoted with xi, x1, x2, x3 up to so on. Velocity means something, speed of something in a given direction. So here we have the velocity of the micro bats in the direction of their target. Loudness means it is the characteristics of sound and it means how loud or soft sound seems to listener. And we will denote loudness with AI. Pulse means a wave or vibration and we will denote pulse with RI. So now we will implement BAT algorithm. First step is initialize the BAT population. Here in this video, we will take only three BATs. So the BAT population is three, right? We have only three BAT. For first BAT, we have position X1. For the second BAT position is X2. For the third BAT position is X3. So now we have initialized this. We have only three BATs. Next is all the bat as I told you have frequency, position, loudness, velocity and pulse rate. Now initially what we will do, we will assign random values. Random values to frequency, velocity, position, loudness and pulse rate. Initially we will assign the random values to each bat. So suppose for the first bat we have frequency 2, we assign a random value 2. For position value is 4. For velocity we assign 3. For loudness, we assign 1 and for for pulse rate, this is 0. So for the first bat, we randomly assign these values. Now we will do this for all the bats. We will randomly assign values to all the bats. As you can see, done. Next up is, you can see here, first the, we initialize the bat population, then we assign the values randomly. Next up is we will check this condition for this one. So the condition is while t is 
less than maximum number of iteration here t is iteration and it can be from 1 to n here maximum number of iteration we are taking 20 so now we will check the value of t for the fir first bat in the first iteration that is the value of t is here 1 so condition is true if condition is true then we will generate a new solution how how we can generate the new solution we will adjust the frequency and we will update the velocity and the position of the first path now as you can see this is iteration 0 here this is the values now we will adjust the frequency for this we will use this equation here we have minimum frequency and the maximum frequency and the frequency range for the minimum to maximum is 0 to 10 and we have a note that uh, bats can automatically adjust their frequency uh, let's solve this one for the first bat frequency we are taking minimum 2 maximum 8 and we got frequency of the first bat at the first iteration is 8 update the value here now we have the frequency of the first bat at the first iteration is 8 now we will update the velocity and position for velocity we will use this equation here you can see this is the velocity of the bat this is the position frequency here we introduce x g best this is the current best position now what is this suppose we have three bats and this is the target and you can see they all the all the bats want to hit the target to hit the target you can see the position of the this bat uh, the nearest one is x2 it means it is the best position so right now we don't have any best position so we will assume this zero done now we will calculate current velocity of the first bat at iteration 1 so in order to this put the value of t so we got this when we put the value of t we got this now velocity of the first bat at iteration 0 is velocity of the first bat at iteration 0 this is the iteration 0 and the velocity is 3 put the value then the position of first bat at iteration 0 position of first bat at iteration 0 is 4 now here frequency of the first bat that is the current frequency as we calculated 8 done so the new velocity that we calculated for the first bat at first iteration is 35 update the value next we will calculate position of the first bat at first iteration and we will use this equation in order to calculate the position put the values we got this Position of first bat at iteration 0 is 4 and velocity that is the current velocity of the first bat that is 35 put the value and we got this this is the position of first bat at first iteration is 39 we update updated here so we successfully updated the frequency velocity and position next step is we will do this for all the bats for the first bat we successfully updated the values now we will do this for second bat again we will repeat this for frequency use formula set the minimum and maximum frequency and you can see we got the frequency of the second bat is 7 update the value now we will calculate its velocity here this is the velocity of the second bat at first iteration is using this formula put the value of t we got this velocity of the second bat at iteration 0 is 7 put the value velocity uh, this is the position of second bat at iteration 0 is 8 and g vest is 0 and frequency of the second bat as we calculated here 7 put the value and we got the velocity of the second bat at iteration first is 63 update the value next we will calculate the position use this equation put the values of t after that we got this Position of the second bat at iteration 0 is 8 and velocity of the second bat at iteration 1 that is 63 and we got this update the value so we successfully updated the values for first and second bat now what we will do we will do the same for the third bat calculate the frequency put the minimum maximum frequency and we got the current frequency of the third bat 6 update the value Here we got not 6, this is 5, 
done right now put the value here we updated the frequency next we will find out velocity for the velocity we will again use this equation now use this formula put the value of t velocity of the third bat at iteration 0 is 5 put the value sorry it's 4 and the position of the third bat at iteration 0 is 5 g vast is 0 frequency of the third bat that is the current frequency of the third bat is 5 as we calculated and we got this 29 update the value we updated the velocity for the third bat now we will find out its position for this we will use this equation put the value of t now position of third bat at iteration 0 is 5 and the current velocity of the third bat at iteration 1 is 29 update the value done so we successfully adjust the frequency and we updated the values for position and the velocity now next step is we will check this condition if random is greater than ri that is the pulse rate then we will select the solution that is the best okay let's see how you can see the uh, pulse rate for each bat here for first bat is 0 this 0 0.2 this 0 0.1 so for the three bat we have the values for pulse rate r10 r20.2 r3 and this now we will check the condition okay now how we will choose the random value as you can see we will choose the random value in between 0 and 1 you can see in between 0 and 1 uh, so you can see the random values in between 0 and 1 is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 and so on suppose suppose we choose a random value 0 0.5 now we will compare this with all the bat got it okay random value is 0 0.5 for for the first bat it's r is 0 now we will check the condition for the first bat it's true for the second bat it's again true for the third bat it's true now if condition is true what we will do we will select a solution among the best bat now how we will select the best solution how we will select the which one is best according to their frequency as the frequency of the waves increase when the frequency of the waves will increase when the bat find its prey it means if the prey is in the scope frequency increase so we will check the frequency of the each bat for the third bat you can see the frequency is 5 for the second bat you can see the frequency is 7 which means this one is better than third one now let's see for the first bat you can see the frequency of the first bat is 8 that is as comparison to second bat and third bat it is the best one so we select it this one this is the best solution because the frequency of first bat is 8 and if the, the, the prey is in the scope frequency increase it means this one is the closer one next we, sele we, we selected a solution now next step is generate a local solution around the bat solution now we will update its position now we will update the position of the first bat now we will use this equation that is x new position new position that is the old plus 80 put the value position of the first bat is 35 and this is for in ranges from minus 1 to 1 and a that is the loudness 1 put the value and we got new position that is 63 update the value now next step is we will check again a new condition that is if random is less than ai that is the loudness then we will accept the solution and we will increase the pulse rate and reduce the this one okay now the loudness decreases <coughs> when loudness will decrease as the bat moves closer at the bat as the bat moves closer to the prey the loudness will decrease and the pulse rate it will increase now we will check this now if the now in order to choose the values for fxi and fx star i provided a link below you can 
see how there's an equation actually to calculate the values for fxi and fx star so i just calculated it you can check the link that is given below in the description box and you can see how to calculate these values and i calculated for the first that it is 0 0.2 and here the random as we selected before that is 0 0.5 loudness of the first that it is one and we just selected these values now next step is we, we will increase now condition is true then what we will do we accepted the solution now we will increase the pulse rate and we will reduce the loudness now next step is this now how I will increase the pulse rate using this equation here we will put the value and you can see in the table we will use this values and put this this one is the this one is for the pulse rate and this one is for the loudness now you can see I give all the values here you can see just put the values and we got this so you can see the for the first bat for the second bat and for the third bat next step is rank the bat we reduced and increased the values now we will rank the bat and find the current and you can see the we will check the loudness pulse and frequency and according to that first bat is the only bat that has the highest frequency and you can check the pulse rate and loudness so this is the current best solution so this is the we rank the current best rank that is the bat one so that's all you can see we have three bats and the target the close okay that's all about this algorithm what we did we first initialize the bat population then we will initialize the frequency pulse rate and loudness and we will assign the random values after that we will check this condition if it is true then we will generate a new solution by frequency velocity and location and if it is true next we will check this condition and you can see we will select the best one which one is the which bat is closer to the target this video so what we did we just calculated the best bat among the three which one is closer to the target if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video uh, this algorithm is used for the optimization problems that's it